All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about this weapon right here, the Eye of Soul. It has returned to Season 14. It's now a Trials loot drop. And Bungie has updated the perk pool. They've added some new perks to it. And they've rearranged and reorganized the perk pool. So it's very important to understand what is the new god roll for the Eye of Soul. So starting off first, let's talk about the old Eye of Soul, which was this roll right here. This was like the main roll everyone was looking for. You wanted Snapshot and opening shot. Along with this, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that quick draw has been nerfed pretty substantially, and quick draw used to be a really good perk on snipers, not on the Eye of Soul. It was never available for this, but it used to be a good perk uh, for snipers, but now it is especially important if you're going to use a sniper in PvP, you definitely want to have snapshots, so that we got to start off with that at the very base, and Bungie has actually updated the perk pool for this weapon. It's actually quite nice for PvP purposes. I'll show you right here. Uh, if you notice, you have snapshot in this slot now and opening shot in the same slot. So you'll notice that this roll right here is no longer obtainable. You'll you'll not you'll never be able to get a snapshot opening shot I have sold anymore. And you might think, well, that's a bummer because that's a really good roll. And you'd be right. I mean, you are definitely right about that. And this does make this roll like uh, a gem, a very rare weapon now. But the new rolls are actually really really good too. So I'm not going to hate on it too much. Uh, Bungie did once remove. Quick draw from the Astral Horizon a few seasons ago without saying anything or talking about it, and that definitely ruined that weapon. But I'm not going to go as far as to say that Bungie has ruined this weapon with this because the perks you can get in this slot are really, really strong. So, first thing I want to start off and talk about is PVE real quick because we can cut this out of the way real fast. It does have Vorpal on it, and you think Vorpal is a great PVE perk, but unfortunately, in this slot right here, there's none of the classic good PVE perks. You're looking for like triple tap fourth times the charm maybe auto loading none of those are in here so unfortunately this weapon is not going to be good or be able to hold up in the pve meta you're not going to use this in pve at all this is strictly a pvp weapon which makes sense considering that you get it from trials from pvp so i kind of like that vibe uh, i like when pvp weapons are acquired from pvp activities and vice versa but uh, whether you agree with that or not let me know in the comment section below and now we're going to talk about the god rolls for pvp so first up we have to have snapshot so it doesn't even matter what else is in this this slot right here celerity vorpal opening shot high impact reserves it doesn't matter snapshot is the number one most important perk aiming down sights really fast with your sniper is essential because you want to aim and snipe really fast and efficiently before people start shooting you and flinching you with hand cannons auto rifles whatever it may be pulse rifles so keep that in mind and uh snapshot is the number one perk here now we're moving over to this slot oh man this one's pretty crazy this is the part the juicy part i want to get to moving target this is a really strong perk for controllers i mean this gives you higher aim assist and you move a little bit faster this is really really good for controllers and a moving target snapshot i have soul sounds really scary to me oh my god i i, I i'm gonna be terrified when i match people rocking a controller using this inside pvp next up is surplus this is probably the weakest perk in this slot and even still, it being the weakest perk in the slot, it actually does add, you know, good uh, perks to it. You got handling, reload speed, stability. That's not bad. It's not a bad perk overall to pair with Snapshot. Next up, we have no distractions. Now, this would probably be my personal perk of choice because this perk just recently got updated so that it procs a little bit faster than it used to back in the day. And this is going to make it so that way when you're lining up that snipe and people are shooting you, you're going to be flinching less so you can continue to line up that snipe and hopefully landed on them even though they're tagging you up with primary ammo or whatever it may be maybe they're shooting you with special ammo who knows uh next up we have killing wind uh this is a cool sniper perk because you get a final blow you snipe someone in the head and then you can move really fast you know if if the apes out there the titan apes out there hear that you land a snipe they start you know beating their chest and running at you and sliding at you full speed so killing wind can help you to evade those titan apes and get away a little bit faster some very good perk there as well to pair with snapshot and last up is this new perk that's been brought to season 14 tunnel vision okay reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sights speed for short duration that sounds really good that sounds really strong for uh pvp and for controller especially with that uh target acquisition that aim assist word right there and uh, that might be a really strong perk as well and might work excellent for a sniper so all these perks are pretty good if you're on a controller i'd say snapshot moving target that's the go-to if you're on mouse and keyboard i'd say no distraction snapshot in my opinion and the other perks aren't half bad either. If you do get a snapshot roll, definitely keep that bad boy. That is a good weapon. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, and no salt, please don't hate me for this. I somehow got the magic RNG of these old I have souls, and I have a roll here that is something of legend right now. Okay. I have a snapshot celerity I have soul. And you might think to yourself, well, that's not that special. It's the adept one, so it gets additional uh perk bonuses as well. You can't see here because my my giant head is covering the screen, but there's 
by masterworking it, I get additional boost to range, stability, handling, and reload speed. Now, the reason why this is like one of the rarest weapons in the game now is because obviously you can't roll snapshot and celerity anymore. It's in the same slot now. And celerity now gives an increase to handling and reload speed. So celerity is like a sort of like mini quick draw. It gives you like uh, the way what quick draw used to be rather. It gives you a boost to handling, which is really nice on this weapon. And reload speed is always nice. I mean, no one's going to argue with reload speed. And then if you're the last person alive, which is pretty rare, you get an additional boost of perks. So on top of that, you get target acquisition, handling reload speed, and reduced flinch. So this is actually a pretty crazy weapon now. And uh, I'm really excited for this. It looks really cool too. Obviously the Adept version. I'm excited for the Ivysol Adept to return, you know, to the Lighthouse in future weeks for this season. But I'm also really excited to use this weapon. I'll definitely be bringing you some gameplay from this weapon because with the buff to Celerity now, this will actually be really, really good and really, really strong. And I'm excited to get to use this very extremely rare weapon inside PvP. So that's a wrap for this uh, Eye of Soul new uh, reprised version in Season 14, new updated version in Season 14, rather. And get out there, get to grinding, and get a god roll because this is one of the best snipers in PvP. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.